just when I thought like um, one chapter would be devastating reveal, but this chapter right here was actually blow my mind apart. I'm here to give you guys a recap on a new chapter in the Natsu no Taizai, or you can call it the Seven Deadly Sins on chapter 223. Now, this chapter right here showed a lot of what's going on, not to mention what has been going into like um, detail ever since. This chapter right here just made a start, just made a startup of what is going to be revealed late, revealed next week, and hopefully. It will be revealed and shown what's why this is like destiny or it's fate. So if anything else, let's go. We have to it that Elaine is actually being very weak right now and Elizabeth is healing her up for the time being. But we also see to it that Elizabeth, Deanne, and Elaine have a little small talk about, about the memories of 3,000 years ago. And... Elizabeth was having some struggles if she should accept these things already, if not, etc. Although Elaine does say, does ask Elizabeth, ask Elizabeth, do you think there's something that he does not want you to remember? Although, like, um, Elaine also mentions that no matter what purpose it is, I can't even read his own mind and heart at all. And Elizabeth is trying to remember everything from from the very beginning, and she ends up remembering Zeldris' words, like, I'm fine, I want you to remember everything and the true depths of your freaking sin and what you've done back then. And Deanne cheers her on by saying, go ahead, give it a shot, I'll be rooting for you all the way. It was the same for me and Gother, I'm pretty sure there's some happy memories of you spent spending with Meliodas a long time ago. And we see to it that, you know, Hawk's mom is being attacked by a red demon, but she ends up blowing him to smithereens with just her snot or flaming <laughs> death of, from her nose already. And we see to it that Merlin's really concerned about Earth Arthur while like um, Escanor can, can't do or say anything but just let like, him be in depressed mode for the time being. As for Gother, he ends up remembering some kind of unnatural swelling presence or something about the Ten Commandments, etc. and ends up saying a couple things. We see to it that King is talking with Helbrem and asks him where he's been. He goes like, you know, I've been doing a couple things. And he congratulates him about King being having his wings, etc. And he ends up saying a couple words that we don't really know if it's either some kind of death flag or we may not see him again. He ends up saying, I mean, it's not like anything's changed between us. You always have been and always will be my best friend. And King's like being confused moment, going like, Helbrem. As for Bond and Meliodas, Bond wants to sit out on the mission for the time being because... And Meliodas understands why. It's about Elaine, right? The source of disturbance is likely Meliodas which surprisingly she is alive and is confirmed already. Even though it was confirmed the last chapter, I wasn't too sure if that's really the truth. But we have to it that... Um, she would not listen to negotiations, and she's been endowed with the faith of the commandment of the Demon King. So, inevitably, we'll have to fight her, but if we kill her, you know? And, of course, Bond is like, um, realizes that Elaine is at her limit, and if we defeat Mel's cool on top of that, it's unavoidable. She will die. Um, and that's why Bond wants to be with her in her last moments, etc. And Meliodas tries to explain, like, um, Bond, I know how you... Uh, and freaking Bond interrupts and saying, "You know how I feel. You having to let having to let the woman die, love die all over again. You know how that feels." Although Meliodas does know know what that feeling is. It was already confirmed like um last chapter ago, and because of Zeldris. And we see to it that Hawk comes to Meliodas and says, "We got a problem, Meliodas." And he goes like, "What are you talking about?" And they end up seeing that um, Elizabeth is struggling and screaming, let go of me, Deanne. I have to let Meliodas right away, let someone know. And we have to it that um, he has to let Meliodas know that Bazard has been bitten by a werefox or something. Who's Bazard? I don't know. But aside from that, we have to it that Elizabeth ends up telling Meliodas, like, um, the knight sent, has sent you a word that Bazard has been seriously injured. And Meliodas is like, don't tell me. Did you just... And Merlin asks... Elizabeth, do you remember me or do you know who I am? 
And Elizabeth says, oh, it's been a long time, Merlin. Just looking at, I hardly recognize you because you're so young. Even Dion's like, what are you talking about? You know, even she even asked Merlin, do you still live in Berlillian or something? And did you come to see Meliodas today? Even like, um, Bod and everyone else is really confused about this right now. And Hawk's like, Elizabeth, look at your eyes. And we end up seeing those goddess eyes as we did every time she has her goddess powers activated. But... What's really ugly right now is that, like, um, King and Diane is like, um, hey, do you have any idea what's going on? Even Diane doesn't know. And Bond asks Melios, do you know the, co I mean, Bond asks Merlin about this and says, do you know about this? And Merlin's like, it's possibly because of Zeldris' magic pro from when she freed me from the curse. And Diane thinks that, um, Elizabeth might be cursed because it's passed on to her. But Merlin says, no, but Melios says, no. It's not that. Her, Elizabeth's memory is starting to return to her. And they go like, huh? It's starting to return to her? Even Diane is very happy about this, etc. Saying, saying, oh, she lost her memories 3,000 years ago. She wants to get back, get back to her past a long time ago. And it'll be very great. Although, Merlin did tell Diane to like, shut your mouth or watch your mouth. Okay? It's not funny. And Diane's like, what are you talking about? And she blames Captain for all this when she tried to talk to him about it. But... But Meliodas says it's already too late right now because it won't be, it won't, it won't take long until her memories return to her. And once that happens, she will die in three days. And I'm thinking in my mind, hold on, hold on, hold on. When I got into that scene, I was like blown away. I was actually like shocked like hell. Like I know many days ago there were a couple raw translations, but someone managed to translate a couple of pages of what's what happened to Elizabeth and she is bound to die in three days and this confirms it and even the seven deadly sins are like hold on. Bond, Diane, King and Gother, Hawk and Escanor are shocked about this. But Merlin kept silent because she knows the whole thing. She's been living over three thousand years old three thousand years, so we already know. And Deanne's like, hey, hey, this is not a joke. Uh, are you serious? And Meliodas explains that this is our fate or destiny. I ain't gonna keep quiet anymore, so I'll tell you all about it. About the true purpose of my 3,000 year journey. I'm thinking in my mind, are you for real, dude? That is beyond belief. So, we get to know the curse of Elizabeth. Although I do not know who gave her that curse, though I may have a good clue. There's only two possibilities. Although, like, um, those two possibilities can be wrong of mine. So, it looks like Elizabeth got her memories back. Well, not all of it, but once she gets all of it back, she will die in three days as Meliodas exclaims, or explains. <laughs> and he ends up gonna tell the Seven Deadly Sins about his 3,000 year journey. I, myself, I'm pretty pretty shocked about this because a curse like that to die like um in three days just having all your memories return was actually a shock factor for me because I go like I thought she'd be dead by natural causes or something etc whether it be a death by battlefield or by um or by a certain disease but uh, but seriously though, like, to die in three days by a certain curse, who would give that kind of curse to her? There's only two possibilities I know who could give the curse to Elizabeth. I mean, it could either be the Demon King or one of the leader, the leader of the Goddess Clan. That's all I can put up with the two possibilities because I don't know what kind of curse this is, but we have to it that Meliodas explains about his true purpose of his 3,000 year journey. So, of course, we all know Meliodas is cursed with immortality, unable to age, and unable to die. Even with all of his heart stabbed out and destroyed, he will not die. But his emotions will be devoured and only return to his own vile demonic self, which we know many, many chapters ago. But this curse right here on Elizabeth, to die in three days to... Once your memory, re once your all your memories return, that's gotta f suck, dude. It's like a slow, painful death in those three days. I don't know what kind of pain it be, but it might be a certain weakening state. But damn, 
And Meliodas is finally going to explain his 3,000 year journey. His true purpose. I don't know what his true purpose about his 3,000 year journey, but it might involve like trying to end this curse or try to save Elizabeth from this curse and maybe save himself. Although the likely possibility of happening that way in those 3,000 years did not have any good results at all. And that's why he might have been using people and possibly might be using the seven deadly sins. Though we though it's just a theory or what I'm rambling on, it's just like you know, what I think is what happened in this three thousand year journey or what's happening now, etc. So don't take it like too seriously. It's just my kind of theory and my kind of like um thought of what really happened. But whatever happened in that three thousand year journey of Meliodas right now, it's not gonna be pretty. We all know that he's whatever his three thousand year journey is like I'm repeating myself with this 3,000 years journey of his <laughs> it never had good results I'm pretty sure because Zell just did explain to Elizabeth that she's been dying and reincarnated 40 to 50 times I'm thinking in my mind dear lord I do not know how the hell that's really possible but it's not pretty <laughs> guaranteed so whatever is really bound to be revealed and shown and what happens next is going to be a shock factor not just for me but for a lot of people especially those who are anime only for Taizai if this gets revealed in a new season of Taizai which won't be for a long time or for a while now I know that for a fact it's gonna like um, knock their heads and go like <laughs> that damn dude I mean I'm pretty sure all of us read a lot of fictional manga and watched a lot of fictional anime about curses and so forth, but to die in three days just having all your memories return, I can only think the two possibilities who gave Elizabeth that curse and Meliodas himself, of course, Meliodas is cursed with immortality by the Demon King, but the curse Elizabeth has, this can only be two possibilities, either the leader of the Goddess Clan, or the Demon King himself, and we will get rev revelation on that hopefully very soon. So until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So I'm off of Zero people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Right? Peace out. Bye bye. Doo -doo -doo.